Hi everyone, this is Prema, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. In this video, we are going to learn about C++ programming basics. Here, I am going to cover um, basic concept of object programming language and tokens, expression, control structures. Let's get into the video. Here first, we are going to discuss about object oriented programming principles. There are eight principles in the OOP concept. The concept used extensively in object oriented program are object, class, data abstraction and encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, dynamic binding, and message passing. These are the eight concepts we are using in object oriented programming language. Object are the runtime entities in an object oriented system. For example, it may be a um, person name, student name, account name or places. These are the object. And then next concept is classes. Classes are user defined data type and behave like the built in types of a programming language. A classes are used to manipulate data and function. The data and function are collectively is an object. Is an object. The, and then wrapping of data and function in a single unit is known as encapsulation. And next concept we are going to see about data abstract, abstraction. Uh, abstraction is nothing but abstraction refers to the act of representing essential future without including uh, including the background details or explanation. This, uh, it is called data abstraction. The next we are going to see about data inheritance. Data inheritance is processly by which object of one class is required the properties of object of another class. It supports the concept of hierarchical classification. Next we are going to see about polymorphism. A polymorphism is a another important OOP concept. A polymorphism means the ability to take more than one form an operation makes a different behavior in different instances. And and next concept we are going to see about data binding. A data binding refers to the linking of procedure code base executed in the response to the call. A dynamic binding means the code associated with a given procedure call is not known until the time of call at runtime. And last one is message parsing. A message parsing is used to communicate with each other like it, it usually communicate with classes and object. An object program, uh, program consists of set of objects that communicate with each other. These are the object oriented programming concept. So next important thing is tokens. A tokens, the smallest individual unit in a program is known as tokens. It, um, the, the classification of tokens are keywords, identifiers, constants, strings and operators. This collectively is called as tokens. Here first we are going to discuss about keywords. The keyword implement specific C++ language future, they are exp explicitly uh, reserved, ident uh, reserved words. It cannot be used as identifiers or naming for programming variables or other user defined element. Keywords are the reserved words we can't use for naming variables or functions or our arrays names. The given below are the some of the examples for keywords private, do, product, static, structure, struct, volatile, while, virtual, void, friend, for, extend, auto, else, enum, etc. These are the example of the keywords. These words cannot be used as normal identifier or function name or variable names. Next one is identifiers. Identifiers and constant. Identifiers are nothing but identifier. It's a naming of variable. Identifier refers to the name of variable such as function name, arrays, classes, etc. created by the programmers. They are fundamentally required of any language. 
the following rules are the common for both C and C++. For, uh, for declaring a uh, variable name or function name or array name, only alphabet characters, digits, underscores are permitted. And then name cannot be started with digits. If you need a digits, you can start by underscores. Sorry. Uh, next one is, uh, next rule is upper and lower case letters are distinction. Uh, C++ is a case sensitive language. A declared keyword cannot be used as variable name because keyword is a reserved words. It cannot be used as uh, no, for, uh, for naming the function names or arrays names or class names. So next one is data types. A data types are classified into three types. One is pri uh, primitive and derived and user defined data types. Uh, so primitive data types are, uh, are integer, float, boolean and ca uh, characters, strings etc. And derived types are having or are, are classified into four types and user defined types are classified into six types. So next one is constant. A constant are referred to fixed value that program may not alter during its execution. These fixed values are called literals. The types or integer uh, types of constants are literal constant, floating constant, character constant, and string constant. The enum constant uh, enumeration is also as a referred as a constant. A constant that uh, constant value that uh, that does not change in uh, program execution time. So next one is variables. C++ allows a declaration of variable anywhere in the scope. This means the variable can be declared right at the place of its first used. So next concept is expression. An expression is a combination of operators, constant and variables arranged as per the rules of the language. It may also include a function call which returns the values. An expression may consist of one or more operand and zero or more operand to produce a value. So expression have in a seven type. They are constant expression, integral expression, float expression, pointer expression, relational expression, logical expression and bitwise expression. So constant expression, it, uh, it produce a constant numbers. And integral expression produce a integer number uh, integer number value. A floating expression will produce a floating floating points. A pointer expression returns the address of the variable which you have stored in the memory. So relational operation uh, 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 gives a results like true and false and logical expression will give a either greater than or less than a bitwise expression will use um, uh, so uh, manipulate the values by bit by bit so next one is we are going to see about control structures the control structures it, uh, it sees the execution of the program uh, there are three types of control structures. They are sequence structure, selection structure, loop structure. Sequence structure are also called as trait line and selection structure also called as branching. Loop structure is also known as iteration. A control structure classified into two types. One is branching and another one is looping. A branching further divided into two, uh, two types, conditional and unconditional. A looping uh, divided into while, do while, for. So conditional bran uh, conditional uh, branching statement divided into simple if statement, if else statement, instead if, if else later. So and ternary operators are also there and, and switch case. These are the types of the conditional control structures. It, it works on it works based on the given condition if condition given condition is true it goes into if block otherwise it will goes into the else block it means false block a yeah, looping is a set of uh, see, uh, set, um, looping will execute like a, um, for uh, until the condition the given condition is uh, a given condition will be uh, it will until the given condition is true so last one we are going to see about function. A function 
of a function is dividing a program into a function is the major principle of a top down structured structured programming it divides in block by, it divides a code into block by block and execute as uh, as as per the function calls main advantage of function is it reduces the size of program and reusability of the code the general structure of function is given below a main function declaration statement and statement and it returns zeros it is a general structure for the function the functions are divided into two types one is library function and other one is uh, sorry built in function and one another one is user defined functions thank you